What's up, guys? So I figured we could talk about this press conference that went down yesterday with new Jaguars head coach Doug Marone, owner Shad Khan, and for the moment, general manager Trent Baalke. And I'm going to just kind of dive into some takeaways that I had from it. Um, just my thoughts, opinions. First off, I just want to say if you're watching this channel, if you're a Jacksonville Jaguar fan, if you are new to the channel, if you're not subscribed, I would highly encourage you to subscribe if you love the Jaguars and you hate the Tennessee Titans. Those are the only two criteria. If you fit both, hit subscribe. Also, if you hate Shad Khan, I'm going to start throwing that one in there too. So there's three, three criteria that you have to meet. If you meet all three, hit subscribe. You won't regret it. I guarantee you. Excuse me. Had to wet my whistle a little bit because... Oh, that looks bad. Because I have a lot to talk about with this press conference. Okay? First off, I want to dive into the very first thing that came out of Shad Khan's mouth. And I almost couldn't believe it when I heard it. Which, actually... The first thing I'd like to get into is bravo to the Jacksonville media for, because I totally expected the Jacksonville media to just do little, you know, underarm pitches and for Shad Khan with, you know, totally non-answer answers to be able to knock them out of the park. But no, Jacksonville's media came after that man with their 100 mile an hour fastballs and they did not disappoint okay they came right out of the gate with the hard questions and all shot Khan could do was ah um, well um um well um um well well uh 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 that's all he could do that's all he did for the whole press conference he had no answer for anything but one thing that he did say that had me scratching my head had me annoyed in the very after the very first question this man really said it was a long tough process from what i'm told from what you're told were you not a part of this process were you not in every single meeting you told us they inter that you interviewed 10 candidates to be the head coach. Were you not in every single one of those 10 interviews? How does that make any logical sense? Or, actually, I just thought of this, but I don't want to give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think this is it. Was he being a smart aleck and saying, from what I've been told, it was a long process, almost like, yeah, like I've heard what all of you have said, but we did our job. We did what we knew was right. I don't think that's what he meant because I don't, I think he's too stupid to even think of something to say that kind of backhanded and clever. I, I think, he, I think Shad Khan. Okay. So, okay. If someone who isn't a Jaguar fan came to me and said, Brian, Jersey Jaguar, whatever. Why do the Jaguars suck? Why do they suck so bad? Why is it in the last 11 years they've only had one winning season? And why have they only won four games over the last two years? Why? Well, I would say go watch that press conference and look at the two people on each side of Doug Peterson. At least for the last two years. There's your answer. Don't even just just sit there, listen to Shad Khan speak, and that's why we're in a competent franchise. That's all you have to do. He looked worse than he has ever looked in that press conference. Shad Khan is a stumbling, bumbling buffoon. Uh, he's the he's the worst owner in the NFL. I don't even think there's any question. However. Chad, however, throw a little bit of a cookie here. The best thing that came out of his stupid face the whole time was he told us that he has filed um, with the NFL for an um, 
or applied, excuse me, for an EVP position. Rick Spielman, come on down. Come on down. Okay, if we don't get that news in the next week, I would be shocked because to my knowledge, we haven't interviewed anyone else and that would be a huge upgrade um, <coughs> in our front office to have a guy like that. And I don't remember exactly where I saw this, but I saw somewhere that he's like from the same agency company or like, um, yeah, like agency company or whatever is Doug Peterson. So he has some kind of liking and connection to Doug Peterson. Um, so it'll work. It'll work. And the dude's got a good track record with the Vikings. And he's a whole heck of a lot better than anything the Jaguars have in their organization. And with it, that guy as EVP, that will pretty much demote Trent Baalke to like a really overpaid scout. Okay? Which, whatever. Shad Khan has this fixation on Trent Baalke for some reason. Fine. Fine. Have at it. Have at it. Um, another takeaway that I had from this, outside the fact that our owner is a total moron, which I already knew. Um, Doug Peterson, without playing a game, without coaching a game, not even a preseason snap has been taken yet. And he's probably already a top three coach we've ever had. Okay. Coughlin, Jack Del Rio, and Doug. I mean, those are probably your top three right there. He's the best coach we've had in the last decade. Okay, he just has not only, and I'm not just talking about his credibility from what he's done with the Eagles and other stuff in the NFL, but there's just something about him. He's, he's it's not even close to compare him to Urban Meyer. Okay, Doug Marone is the definition of below average to maybe average if the team's really good, which is what we saw in 2017. And then Gus Bradley is what is the perfect definition of a good coordinator who can't be a head coach. So over the last decade, Doug Peterson, without playing a game, is probably, no, not pro he is the best head coach that this team has had. I liked everything that Doug Peterson said. I think he was the bright spot. If you look at the three guys that were sitting there, Doug Peterson was obviously the only one with a brain in his head. And I love the fact that, because even reporters know how stupid this, this process was. It's not just us fans complaining on Twitter, complaining on YouTube, but the media, everyone knows how stupid this process was. Okay, and how long it took unnecessarily and everything else. <coughs> and Doug Peterson was asked if they thought, if he thought it was too late for him to assemble a good staff and didn't even hesitate. He was like, no, no, we can get good people in here. Because unlike Urban Meyer, who had no NFL connection, really, and was just relying on Trent Baalke, okay? Doug Peterson has NFL connections. Doug Peterson is going to get good people in here. Like, word on the street is uh, Vic Fangio, former coach of the Denver Broncos, is going to come in and be our defensive coordinator. That would be unbelievably massive for the Jags. I mean, I get... <sighs> and Doug Peterson said that he was going to be calling plays. So... We'll probably get an offensive coordinator, but how much, how relevant is that really? If Doug Peterson is going to be the one calling plays, probably not. So I really don't care, honestly, who the OC is. Because if we can get Vic Fangio in as defensive coordinator and Doug Peterson's calling plays, the Jaguars are in the best position that they've been in years, you guys. The best position that they have been in years. Do you know what's funny about all this? I feel like this is this is the best hire that Shad Khan has ever done. And he probably totally did it by accident. Because the man is stupidly clueless. It's hysterical. Anyway, let's move on a little bit to uh to Trent Balky. My takeaways from Trent Balky. At one point this idiot straight up said 
he thinks we have the second most cap in the NFL. How do you not know? How do you not know? What do you mean you think? How is this man employed, Shad Khan? Please tell me. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me, my cough. Also, I thought it was laughable. I mean, this isn't so much a takeaway. It's just kind of me being like a jerk and nitpicky. But he he pointed out the Bengals and how the Bengals um, had a quick turnaround and how he thinks the Jaguars can do the same. And I just remember laughing saying, not as long as you're in charge. Get Spielman in here to take your place. Bump you down. Have him picking the guys. Okay, maybe now we're talking. And you know what? If Aaron Rodgers does call it quit on the pack, call it quits on the Packers. And you know what? The Jags are like one of only a handful of teams that have the money to throw at Devontae Adams whatever he wants. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Listen, Kyler Murray. I'm going off a little bit. Kyler Murray was Kyler Murray when he got DeAndre Hopkins. Joe Burrow took the leap when he got Jamar Chase. <coughs> Trevor could take the leap with someone like Devontae Adams. Could we find that guy in the draft? Maybe we could. Maybe. But Devontae Adams is a proven guy. Now, do I necessarily want to pay him all that money? No, not really. But if he's going to do for Trevor what those guys are doing for their quarterbacks, I'll take it. It has nothing to do with the topic of this video. I'm just going off on a tangent um, because that's what I do here. Also, I thought it was kind of funny how um, one of the reporters asked Trent Baalke about if it's been a, a rough month for him. It, well, yeah, you know, it's been kind of a hard uh, a hard month for me. Uh. Listen, it's been a hard decade for me, buddy. Okay, it's been an especially hard two years for me. I don't want to hear about your hard month. Okay, it's been a hard decade for me. So cool yourself with that. But anyway, Jaguars structure as an organization sucks. Outside of Doug Peterson... I think Doug Peterson is legitimately the best thing Shad Khan has ever done for this football team. Um, if he hires Rick Spielman, if I wake up tomorrow to the news that Rick Spielman has a position of power in the Jacksonville Jaguars organization, that will be the next best thing he's ever done. Okay. And the Jaguars will have a legitimate good hierarchy for the first time, at least under Shad's ownership. Um, so that's enough reason to be excited. Doug Peterson, I I am already I'm fully bought in on him. I legitimately believe he's going to help Trevor. I legitimately believe he's going to turn Trevor into what Trevor should be. Um, I think he's going to I think he's going to have a lot of fun with using uh, James Robinson and Travis Etienne, not Carlos Hyde, Urban, but Travis Etienne and James Robinson. I think are going to flourish with Doug Peterson. Also, I think the Jaguars are definitely going to go after a tight end, whether in the draft or in free agency. Um, and if not so, then Dan Arnold will have an even bigger part of this offense than before because Doug Peterson loves to use tight ends. Um, Jaguars got their guy. I know we all wanted Byron Leftwich. A lot of Jaguar fans were on that. But listen, I'm, I'm telling you guys, Doug Peterson is going to win football games with us. I'm, I'm very sold on him. I'm very happy. This is the first good thing Shad Khan has ever done for us. He's still a moron. I still hate him. But I got to give him credit for this. That's all I got today for you guys. Um, like I said, if you've watched this whole video so far, kudos to you. I appreciate you. Uh, like, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you love your Jaguars. Love the Jaguars. Hate the Titans. Shad Khan's a moron. If you believe all three, hit subscribe.